More than a dozen suspected car thieves have been arrested and are facing hundreds of charges in a major operation targeting auto theft in Ontario. Police also recovered more than 300 stolen vehicles at the Port of Montreal worth millions of dollars. CTV's Heather Wright joins us now. Heather, Canada is one of the top countries in the world for stolen cars. Heather, car thefts are up in most parts of the country. They've increased 50% in Quebec, nearly 35% in Ontario. And today, police just west of Toronto announced they've broken up a major car ring that was shipping stolen vehicles overseas. These are just two of the 369 vehicles recovered by police in Operation Odyssey, an investigation into a car theft ring spanning from Ontario to Montreal and the Middle East. Since October of 2023, we have been investigating hundreds of stolen autos that have been destined for foreign markets. Police have arrested 16 people with warrants issued for the arrests of 10 others. They say the organized crime group was stealing cars in southern Ontario and using a transportation company as a hub to ship the stolen vehicles to the port of Montreal and onto Oman and the United Arab Emirates. They found 37 containers worth of cars at the port of Montreal valued at more than $33 million. Based on the evidence, we believe the trucking company owners, workers and operators were fully aware and complicit in the shipping of these stolen vehicles. Of the 26 people arrested or who have warrants issued in this case, 14 were out on bail, all with previous car theft charges. But in cases involving property theft, defense attorney Daniel Lerner says people are almost always granted bail. People are presumed innocent. All we have right now is somebody saying this person committed a crime and nothing's been tested. The Insurance Bureau of Canada has called car thefts a national crisis. The agency says 105,000 vehicles were stolen across the country in 2022, resulting in $1.2 billion in insurance claims. Ottawa has given the provinces millions of dollars to address the surge in car thefts and violent carjackings. But police say it is frustrating to arrest the same people over and over. It does get frustrating, but we have a job to do. Police are still looking for those 10 outstanding suspects, but of the 16 arrested, all have been granted bail and have since been released. Heather. CTV's Heather Wright. Thank you.